Hello, my name is Ed Templeton, and we're here to look at some covers and talk about them. Let's, uh, with let's, the Look Back Library. Let's start with your Thrasher from 1990. What do you remember about that day with Scott Starr? I don't remember Scott Starr. I remember getting a call. Or how did even people have my number? This is what I can't remember. Like yeah. I don't, I don't recall the circumstances that brought me yeah. into contact with Scott Starr. Okay. Either he, either he got my number and called, and said, "Hey, I work for Thrasher, and I want to shoot a photo of you." Uh -huh. I can't remember if he said like I'm supposed to shoot a cover with you. And I feel like he just said, "Let's go shoot," and I was yeah. just like, "Oh, okay, whatever, let's go shoot." Or he either, or he saw me at a spot and mm -hmm. said hey can we go shoot th i have an idea I, I remember him saying i have this idea to shoot like a sunset thing i want you to like nose bump it and i remember at the time thinking like this isn't like a good trick you know it's like this isn't like you know yeah. if i'm shooting something for thrasher i'd rather go take you to something mm -hmm. a rail or a set of stairs yeah. but he was like oh no this is gonna look cool it speaks of hb i want to have the pier and so, the sunset. so that is the hb pier back that's there. the hb pier this is just on the bike path yeah. down at the hb and we okay. just took like one of the trash cans and knocked it over and he's like nose bump this you know i know you can nose bump not mm -hmm. do, hit, hit this can a bunch of times i'm gonna shoot some photos it'll look cool so i was just like okay like in the in the Go spirit of like i'm 18 years old and this guy wants to shoot me for thrasher i don't even know like he doesn't have a credential saying yeah. so i'm like oh for all i know this guy's just like random and not really <laughs> working for thrasher but you know i was like whatever i'm just skating and like he's shooting photos like it'll be fun yeah. so i just did what he said i just basically nose bumped this thing a bunch of times and and then like i said i can't remember if he said this is for a cover which then really put me in a conflict because i have feelings of that in my in my body somewhere like that that's what was happening but then i also kind of remember seeing this and being like what the fuck like the cover <laughs> you know yeah. like i don't remember so in a way i don't think i knew that it was going to be a cover gotcha i think he just said let's shoot and then that was the cover and i remember being really tripped out that had i known i was going to get the cover i would have wanted to have not a nose bump on a trash can you know yeah but and whose magazine was this this artifact happens to have belonged to the late Phil Shaw, awesome. which is amazing. I mean, I skated with him a bunch of times up north at contests and things. What do you remember about your Transworld cover? So this was a great period in my life in general. This was like the pan play days. Um, which is a basketball court across the street from the Huntington Beach High School that we skated. You know, we skated the high school every day. We skated the pay and play courts every weekend. Skaters would gather and bring ramps and slider bars. And it was just this amazing kind of insane time, you know, like yeah. the, you know, best time of your life kind of thing where you're just skate. All you think about is skating and getting through school. And, and then every weekend would be this huge meetup. And I think this is like during that time, um, Bo would be around, he would sometimes come, you know, obviously he hung out at Gremmick and would like dispel wisdom to us kids and uh, and take us around to some spots and things like that. And I felt like I learned so much from, from O. And uh, again, I don't think this was something I knew about. Mm -hmm. he, this was just one of those things where we're skating, O shows up, shoots some photos, and then boom, suddenly it's a, it's a cover. And at this point, you know, like hanging out at Gremmick Skate Shop every day and and having this show up was just, I mean, mind blowing, life changing sort of thing, you know, it's like, and just like the whole cover was like so cool. It's like gutter vomit. It's like, I remember that forever, a street symposium. So the one thing that always trips me out is how you have a star and moon foundation sticker on your nose and then you end up partnering up with Todd for yeah. Time Machine. Well, yeah, so at this point I had no affiliation with um, yeah. Swank at all. So I was just writing for New Deal and um, essentially, yeah, I just thought the Star and Moose sticker was cool yeah. and I knew he like did zines and stuff. So I was like just sort of awakening to a world that was to become the world I, 
you know wanted to participate in mm -hmm. within skateboarding that was like zine culture and stuff like that so at this point also i would skate a lot with christian klein who did power edge magazine and he had zines and made, made zines and so i was like just learning like whoa zines and then gsd obviously looms large in that yeah, world and then yeah, like yeah. so the fact that gsd did the cover of this magazine uh, it was the art director of trans world wow. like was really meaningful to me i was like whoa that's so cool so and so that's just like a little indication of like my world opening up to like who todd swank was yeah. as a skater and like an art maker and a zine maker and so yeah that was just me like sweating swank way before uh Maybe Sorry. that's why he wanted to like do the company with me. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I, I know Ed likes me. I saw yeah. I saw that sticker back in nineteen ninety. Excellent. Warp magazine. What year was this? Ninety six. Okay. Again, no idea this would be the cover. I think I was just uh, shooting. I think Swift. Basically, I wouldn't go to San Diego that often. But I this, did. This is Escondido. This is in Escondido, yeah. and I remember um, going down there, and I think Dave just took us to a bunch of spots because I don't think I knew any spots. This, this isn't one of those things where I yeah. wanted to skate this spot, or maybe it was. I can't remember if I saw this in a video and thought, "Ooh, that bump to bar looks fun." Take me there. You know what? I might have been with Jamie Thomas. Most likely, I was with Jamie. Now that yeah. I'm thinking about it, Jamie knew where the spot was and he probably ended up taking us there so that's how that happened but that cool. was fun front feeble um yeah it was really early for a front feeble to yeah be... well there was uh heath had okay. a photo on the cover of transworld doing one but word on the street is that it wasn't a me oh, wow. <laughs> um, All right. But I remember seeing that and just being like, whoa. Because I loved doing feeble grinds and smith grinds as it was. So I was like, I need to learn how to do that. And uh, so yeah, I think I started trying them after seeing that Heath cover probably. And then I was able to learn a couple of them and get one on the cover randomly. So here's two covers of Rad, Read and Destroy Magazine. And this one over here, I've got pants so big that you could fit two people inside of them and you're wearing zero twos zero twos giant dickies that could sail a boat thunder t-shirt um wheels so tiny you could swallow them yeah uh tv hat probably trying a back foot flip or something uh over the spine at the south sea skate park yeah. in the uk and again no idea this would be a cover just You're there just skating. popped up one of these days skating on yeah doing some demos i feel like jeff Rowley told me he was in the audience this day oh sweet or one of his friends i think he was there i remember yeah him being there cool. as a young kid and being stoked yeah. being stoked on this and this one is really weird because this is at um the burger banks the same center where the burger banks is there's a bunch of spots in this here in huntington. shopping center it's yeah it's in huntington beach it's right by the hell curve which is the famous like yep, Don's. Yeah, Don's. big board slide spot and then hamburger hamlet which is the name of the restaurant <laughs> <laughs> that's why it was called burger banks okay and inside that center is the white benches that a lot of people skated there's a clip where gone's always up on a bench and then board slides a rail in the blind video mm -hmm. and those once one of the benches i think yeah um i skate the bench i think i like impossible 50 one of the benches in some video um but that is also in that center and then this is around the corner in the center there's these like uh -huh. ledges on this kind of you can't see them but there's some ledges over here some benches that had a metal edge on them and then this little weird curb situation with a like a, you ollie up and then there's a little gap that you so we would just ollie up and do tricks over the gap for fun really tiny i mean it's in some videos you've probably seen it yeah so this is just ollie up and then do a one foot over the gap and i think it's one of those things where the guy wanted me he's like oh, i want you to kick a foot out so i can get it close kind of thing and 
And I was just like, oh shit, sure, you know, <laughs> not knowing it might be a cover. Had I known it'd be a cover, I probably would have tried to go to a different spot maybe, but, but yeah. anyway, it's kind of fun. Oh yeah. Got the nice high yaw straight. Yeah. So here's a slam cover shot by Mouse. I had to look that up because I couldn't remember who shot this one. Um, nose blunting this, you can't even see the edge, of, like the end of this. It's very kind of a strange photo on that level. What's your, what hat am I wearing? Some weird sports hat I probably picked up in a thrift shop. Um, but that's at Huntington Beach High too. This is at HB High. Yeah, there's, I guess famously, Tom Penny tail slid yeah. up this, oh, this yeah. curve. It's like a curve that goes down some stairs. So it's really small. It's kind of strange. It's like just a nose blunt on the curb, really, which isn't super groundbreaking. But I guess for 1992, it was pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Um, again, those pants look kind of big. <laughs> <laughs> the wheels aren't as bad. No. <laughs> and... But that was fun. So yeah, this is Australian magazine that Australian Mouse magazine. must have submitted photos to and bam, yeah. you're on the and then, cover. Yeah, suddenly someone says, hey, check this out, you're on the cover. Mm -hmm. um, which is a pattern through all my covers, I think. Is this normal for people to not know they were getting the cover? Yeah. Okay. It's pretty, yeah, it's pretty rare. Like nowadays that... it's like, you kind of know. Mm -hmm. Or you know it's potential. Like yeah. this is like, I mean, I've been with Burnett before when you know the spot yeah. is so crazy and the trick is epic and you know he doesn't say like this is the cover but he says like this has cover potential like to try to hype people up yeah. to like really make Push the trick it. You know? yeah and and a few times that i've been on those like have turned into the cover so that's kind of like cool to see <laughs> the motivation of what mm -hmm. the cover will uh will bring for sure any classic covers you can think of ed i remember this uh mike valley power edge cover He's just hauling over a can, a trash can. I think it was at night, but it just, Sunset, his face yeah. looked cool. And it was a spot that we skated, I think in like Los, Los Alamos, it was called, some school called Los Alamos School, that had this weird sort of manhole cover that had a little, a little kick a, to it. A little kick to it, and we would just blast over that all the time. So I remember being stoked on that. Back in the day when just like, a cool facial expression was all you needed to, for a cool cover. It didn't have to be a death-defying trick. It was just something rad, like a rad photo. Well, awesome, Ed. I think that about covers it. Thanks for sitting down with us today. No worries. Sorry it's raining and cold and shitty out here. <laughs>